from me. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Crunch. We're coming to you from your very own city channel, Made in Cardiff. Yeah, for the next hour, we're bringing you a daily helping of local news, sport and what's on in the capital. Plus weather, special guests and more from our studio right here on St Mary Street. I'm Dan. And I'm Dan. Here's what you can expect on tonight's show. Hello and welcome back to Crunch the Week from your city channel, Made in Cardiff. Crunching down the headlines with me tonight are Alistair Love from Action for Children and Nick Corrigan from Media Academy Cardiff. Christ on all, welcome back to part two of Made with the Bluebirds. I'm your host, Dan Jardine. Now, last week we showed you the Goal of the Month nominations for November, so it's fitting that this week we show you the Goal of the Month nomination for December. The first team goal was scored, of course, by Kenneth Zahor. Hear the rest. Coming up, we'll be taking a reflective look back at the summer of Euro 2016 and I'll be chatting everything Cardiff City. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in part one. Join us again after the break for all of your Cardiff sporting action in a bit. Anything it could be anything. Hello and welcome back to The Crunch. Before the break, we gave you a riddle. Now, uh, Luke here thought the answer was the bubonic plague. The question was, what can you catch but cannot throw? The answer was not the bubonic plague, it was in fact a cold. Oh, okay. So, it's, so I mean, I, I get it, it kind of does go into it, I imagine, but no, it's not, it's not, it's not. Uh, so, a watered down version yes, of the bubonic plague, not, not as deadly or yeah. uh, uh, mass murdery, I guess. Yeah. But joining me now to take a look back at the week that was in Cardiff Sport is Made in Cardiff's head of sport and fellow Cardiff City season ticket holder, Dan Jardine. It deserves another Ayatollah, I think. I think we should, I think we should. Yeah, I'm I'm Vini I'm good. very good, thank you very much. Good, we'll have to start with Cardiff City. We have, we will have to, yes. Um, of course, you and me, we were mm. both at the game. Uh, we were on, on the Saturday, terraces. The seven-side derby. Mm. Um, what was supposed to be a very tough game. Mm. Proved, proved to be a very tough game. It did indeed. Yeah, From early on as well. Of course, yeah. Straight away, an injury to one of our key players already this season, Nathaniel Mendes Lang, mm. um, kind of just showed exactly the way the, the game was going yeah. to go and not in our favour. No, 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 basically. Um, Bristol managed to take the lead shortly after. We then came back with a goal of our own through Omar Bogle. Hero. Hero. At the time. At the time. But then, of course, straight after half time, the hero went to zero mm -hmm. and he managed to get himself a straight red card um, and then shortly after Bristol City scored again yeah. and that was the full time result Cardiff City lost 2-1 of course yeah I mean zero to hero Omar Bogle Lee Tomlin though you know, Lee former Tomlin Bristol well. City player yes. did, did manage to come on there was lots of banter in the yes. build up you know, yes. between the fans on Twitter and things like that so course, I think yeah. there was there was a flag there there was there? indeed there was, I'll put it up on my Twitter today um, here it is it's actually a meme <laughs> Lee Tomlin uh, Bristol City former Bristol City player now Cardiff City <laughs> player he had a lot of stick in the build up to the game and uh, he did manage to make an entrance but unfortunately to no avail he did hit quite a nice free kick yeah there, almost the scored but almost yeah. in no, almost grabbed the headlines yes thank you very much Jack Parrot, lovely uh, retro Newport County top he's got on there. Is that a football thing? Yes. You know me, I only know Tottenham Hotshots, Aston Village, and Phil Benetton. That's there you it. go. That's Without it. further ado, let's get some news. Dirk Maur Luke, one of Jeremy Corbyn's main Welsh supporters, has said it would be a mistake to use the same system that got their UK leader elected. Mick Antonou has warned that the changing Labour leader rules in Wales would be for short-term gain only. Whilst Labour are considering whether to adopt one-member, one-vote system for leadership contests here. Currently, the vote gives equal weight to elected members, trade unions and ordinary members. First Minister Carwyn Jones has not yet announced a date for his departure. Sporting news now and the Blues. Danny Wilson has said his decision to leave the Cardiff Blues at the end of the season was very difficult. Speaking on camera for the first time since he announced his departure, the head coach said he was grateful the club had offered him an extension on his contract, but no decision has been made about his future. But speculation about a move to Premiership continues to grow. But the coach said he's fully focused on doing the best job he can for the rest of the year. Now, Jardine, apparently there's uh, something very interesting going to be happening in Cardiff very soon. 
Is there a, well, let's have a look what it is. Have you ever wondered what really goes into solving a murder at a crime scene? And wanted to meet some of the people involved in helping fight crime? Well, now you can become a crime scene investigator for the night as Cardiff University's Students' Union are hosting a live forensic crime scene examination on Friday the 24th of November. The experience will be led by world leading experts in forensic services, the City of London Police and blood pattern analysis, analysis experts who will reveal what wonders of forensic science you will find in crime scene detection. They will also expose the dangers in police investigations and contaminated evidence and encourage the audience to work with them to solve a murder. The event will aim to show what can be discovered from blood on the wall, how fibres can lead to the killer and DNA can place you in a room you've never entered. The event is only for those ages 18 and over and will provide adults with the opportunity to experience the exciting world of forensic science and more information can be found <coughs> online at eventbright.co.uk. Very interesting indeed. That looks amazing. That awesome. reminds me of um, Dexter, the, uh, the TV show. Never seen the it. Blood, blood pattern analysis expert, that's what he is. And uh, you, you need to watch it, Luke, because mm. it is very, very good. Yeah, so Blue Planet and now Dexter as well. Dexter as well, yeah. yeah. Don't forget, you can find any episode of Crunch you've missed on Catch Up at Made in Cardiff TV. That's all from us. We'll see you at the same time tomorrow with more guest news, sport and entertainment. Pull